Now, listen, my little cherub, we hear that you have a little bit of a conundrum for us, which relates to our topic of fitting in. Go for it. I do. And can I just say thank you so much as well, because you two are cheaper than therapy. So I really, Mm. really appreciate this. But... Um, yeah, so I, I think there's a lot of pressure put on us these days that you've got to be the right everything. And even when you're trying to do the right thing, you're doing it wrong. So it's like in the working class, you know, you're supposed to know your place and I don't know my place. I'm going for the Hillary Duff dream with the gays. Mm. You know, you've got to have a particular kind of body. You've got to be in a particular group, go to a particular bar. I don't do those things. I still go to my local Calvary. And then in comedy, like I say, it's like you've got to be an Edinburgh critic darling. And I'm not. I tell dick jokes. Mm. Well, I think that's really interesting. First of all, I think, can I ask, you know, two things. One, what is Hull? I've never heard of that. And two, how does it make you feel, Stephen? Um, One, Hull is actually, well, I'm not going to lie. It's a shithole. But it was the capital of culture, so it's no longer a shithole. Like it, mm. and they deserve comedy too. But apparently, if you're not doing your comedy in London, then it is not artistic. And Ugh. I don't know. It makes me feel a bit useless. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like you're trying to you're getting all these achievements, but they're never quite right. Like for example, and I don't know if this is too heavy for your podcast, so stop me if it is, girls. But when I did live at the Apollo for BBC Two. That is like a comedian's wet dream come true. Mm. And I was in the green room in hair and makeup and a beautiful suit. And another comedian asked me who I was there to watch. It didn't even occur (gasps) to them that I could be on the show. That's such a shame. Does that not make you feel, you know, when people have said that to me, like when I won Miss Universe, um, you know, a lot of people were like, why are you here? You're too good for this. You know, you're... You're too chic. You know, it really, people doubting me and doubting my decisions, they, it really drove me to prove them wrong. Do you have that feeling? Yeah, I have that all the time. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like I've had that feeling my whole life. So I'm a bit exhausted by it now. Like now Mm. I want to get to the bit where it's like, I can enjoy it. But I feel like, you know, because I present a show on a farm, I could never be a topical comedian on Radio 4. It's all things like that. And I think part of it is in my head, but I also think part of it is true. And so I don't know how to not give a shit. (laughs) 